Hello and welcome to the guidance for the Activity Providers application form. If you log on to our website and you reach our HAF activity page, you'll see there's a section Activity Providers. If you read the relevant information on the web page and when you're ready, you can click the Apply Here button. You'll be prompted at this stage to either create an account or if you've already registered for one, you'll be prompted to log in. I've already got one, so I'm just going to log into the account. Okay. So you'd populate your email address and then your password. Okay, so that's just logging us in at the moment. Okay, so once you're logged in, you'll be taken straight to the application form and you'll be able to work your way through it and you are able to save your progress at any point if you do need to do so. Okay, so one thing just to mention that the deadline is the 16th of September and the cutoff is at five o'clock. So all applications will need to be in and received by that point. It's important that you read through these documents that are on the application and download a copy of these for your own reference. OK, so I'm just going to work my way through the application form. So just make sure that you fill in all of the fields in. I'm just going to use um, test examples for the purpose of this. Okay, email. Okay. And contact details. Okay, so you will be prompted to create um, an admin um, and use the details. and supply an email address. Okay, so I'm just working my way through all of the fields now. And you'll note that there is this save button at the bottom of every page. So if you do need to save your progress, then you can do so by pressing this button. I'm not going to do this at the moment, but I will demonstrate that in a second. So click next to move on to the next page. And again, just make sure that you fill in all of the questions in. And same on the next page. So if you do have a copy of your meal planner, you can upload it. It's not a mandatory field, so you can move on if you don't have that. Okay, and again, I'm going to click next. Just make sure when you are filling it in that you do include as much information as possible in each of the sections. So the main um, part of this guide is to focus on this page, the funding section. This is the page where you'll probably be um, at the point where you'll want to save and come back to the form at a later point. So just some key things just to point out. Um, that you can edit any information that you've input it at this stage um, if you do need to come back or if you make any uh, mistakes or anything. So we'll just talk you through that. So I'm just going to add the venue details here and the provider at the venue. 
and the address. Okay, so now I'm looking to add some dates for this particular um, venue and provider. So you can either add individual days or if you're going to be doing um, more than one day per week, then you can add consecutive days just to make it easier for you. If you do use a consecutive days function, it will add the dates consecutively, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on. If there is a particular day that you're not um, doing any provision on those days, you'll just need to go back to the table and you can click delete on that particular row. So I'll demonstrate that for you in a moment. So just add the delivery dates of the provision and the start time and the end time. Okay, so the age range that the provision is for. And then we're just breaking down the amount of places that you have available. So for this particular date, how many primary places do you have available? And similarly for secondary, how many secondary places? And send primary places, how many of those do you have available? And again, for secondary send, how many places do you have available for those? And are you offering any paid primary paid places? If so, how many? And again, for secondary, if you're offering paid places, just advise how many available for that day. If there isn't any, you can always add zero. What this will do down here is just tally the amount so that you can see the total amount of places per day, which is 50. And of the 50, 40 of those places are funded, meaning that 10 of them are paid places. OK, so if you want to add um, those dates, you can click this button here. And then what you'll see is it's added the 22nd here and it's already populated the 23rd. So if any of the information's changed I can just go in and amend each section or if it's exactly the same information the same places I can click add dates and I can continue to do that and it will build those dates up here and if at any point there's a day that you're not operating you can just click on the red button here and that will delete that row of information for you OK, so once you've, you're happy that you've added all of the dates, you can come down here and it just asks you if you've finished adding dates for this particular venue. If you have, then it will move on to the next section. If it hasn't, so for whatever reason, you need to come away and save this information. Before you press the Save button, it's really important that you click Complete this venue because this will then save the information you've provided in the table. If you don't press complete this venue, it doesn't think that you've ready to save that information. So always click complete this venue if you want to use the save button. So I'm going to do that now just to demonstrate. What this will do is send an email through to the uh, registered email account and there will be a link on the email that will allow you to click back, in, back into the application form and pick up from where you were. So I've just clicked on the link now and you can see it's taken me back to the application. So once you're back into your saved application, you can move along. If you need to amend or add anything, you can do that at this point, or you can just go back to the section that you'd um, you'd last worked on which is the funding section and you can pick up from there so we hadn't finished adding the information so I'm just going to click on this little green pencil icon which will reopen our saved data so you can see all of that information is saved here for me so I'm just going to go back now and say actually at this point yes I have finished adding dates for this one and you'll see it now populates information for further information on the funding and it will total the amount of places available um, down here. OK, so total uh, funding. So I'm just going to populate some information in here just for purposes of demonstration. 
and we're just asking for breakdown at this point. So I'm just going to work my way through. Okay, so I'm just tallying all of this information. What this does down here is this calculates, as you're adding the figures in, a total cost. So if the if it doesn't match what you've put up here, so my total is 2,000. Um, if you accidentally put the wrong figure in and it doesn't reach 2,000 at the end, it will alert you just for you to go back and check the amounts that you've put on there. But as everything matches, it's allowing me to move on and at this stage I want to update this record and what you'll see is all of the information has now updated onto this table above. So at this stage I can either move on or if I want to add another venue then I can add another venue at this point and complete the process again. So you can add as many venues as you need to just keep repeat, repeating the process. Once you're happy that you've added all of the information you need, you can click on the next button and move on to the next section, which is the declaration. So at this point, you are prompted to upload some information. I'm just going to upload some documents here just to show you. So you can drag the image and it will upload it for you. So then just keep moving on and uploading the necessary documentation. You do have a comments box if you need to add additional comments to each of those. Once you've uploaded your documents, you then just need to move on to the other sections. So other policies in place. Next. Okay, so just on to the um, last section, just getting to um, confirm around providing attendance and just obtaining name and role at this point. And then just what happens next, with regards to submitting the application, it will be sent through to the Holiday Activity and Food Programme team who will process the application and will get in touch with you if they require any further information. Once you've done that, you can press submit and that will send it through and you will get email confirmation that your application has been submitted. Thank you very much for watching.